Hello LinkedIn, I know I said this would take me a few days to get the new occipital core sensor up and running, but they just released their new SDK, so thank goodness. Um, and this is Core Playground running on Mac OS as an alpha. It only runs on Mac right now. And there's four different feeds here. You have the visible light uh, here at the bottom right, and then we'll have the depth stream on the left hand. On the top, we have the infrared or laser projection uh, scanning technology. Above that, you have the accelerometer and the gyro uh, for X, Y, and Z uh, information, uh, yaw and roll. Uh, and this is really amazing that they're providing this so quickly. I'm, I'm obviously very excited that we can see this so so fast, and we can showcase this to customers and users, and to, you know to the entire community out there that's interested in these types of technologies. But you know this new structure core is really the perfect sensor for augmented and virtual reality, simultaneous localization and mapping, robot vision, we call that machine vision, um, and other embedded applications where you know depth performance really matters. And, and many of the specifications on this as they refined this powerhouse of a, a computer vision product, it is now, it also has an onboard DSP or a digi digital signal processor, just like the Intel. So that takes away a lot of the um, you know, NVIDIA GPU uh, processing power that's necessary, like the Z or the Z Mini, which needs you know, 3,000 CUDA um, at you know, 9.2 or 10.0 uh, to even run or function. Um, this has three different cameras now, um, which, which is really doubling the amount of infrared cameras compared to the original structure sensor. That's fantastic. Um, and it, it, obviously, we, we talked about the, the ultra-wide uh, vision camera at 160 degrees. That's for the visible camera. It has about 85-degree uh, field of view for the RGB. And again, that powerful depth ASIC onboard uh, NU3000, it computes depth and has a programmable DSP with room to expand. This is really designed for programmers and to embed in all kinds of applications that we discussed in robotics and drones, uh, computer vision, and the like. But you know, if you look at the augmented reality company uh, Kura down in San Francisco, they are using this as their positional tracking and pass-through for mixed reality. I saw some of their videos on YouTube and I thought that was phenomenal. Um, but the precise depth on this, like they say, it goes down to 0.3 to about 5 meters at 1280 by uh, 960, 60 frames per second. And it also has a global shutter so it can handle fast moving objects and scenes outside. So environmental conditions don't negatively affect uh, you know, the, the camera or the sensors or the frames per second at different and varying resolutions. Um, I hope you guys really, really get you know, some information out of this. That's the whole reason I continue to make these types of training videos is to is to broadcast the coming revolution of computer vision uh, throughout all these different types of industries and these sensors are going to lead the way. Have a great night. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Thanks a lot, LinkedIn.